हेलो व्यूअर्स सो गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू दी फर्स्ट क्राई पेज ऑन फेसबुक सो दिस इज अ लाइव सेशन एंड आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल माई नेम इज डॉक्टर अंकित मेहता आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिशियन एंड आई एम अ पीडियाट्रिक इंटेंसिविस्ट आई वर्क इन जाइडस हॉस्पिटल अहमदाबाद सो एज यू ऑल नो टूडे सेशन इज about scanning for fever at home during common cold and flu which is combinedly presented by first cry and exertion company so uh, this session will be about definitely how to scan for fever i hope it gives you the literal meaning what it means so scanning for fever means that how do we measure temperature what are the different ways of measuring temperature in children do we need to measure temperature in children and if yes how frequently so as we all know we are already entering the season where there is a starting of winter and you all know that winters cause lot of increased amount of risk of having cough cold fever and obviously there is an ongoing pandemic which is already a covid pandemic we all know that how we are pissed off once a fever comes or maybe along with cough cold if you have fever cough cold if your baby develops fever cough cold you are you really feel miserable that am i suffering from covid or is can this be a simple common cold or can this be a flu so there will be multiple things which will come to your mind so i am there today to help you and you also know that many of the uh, 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 areas in india Uh, they are getting lot of rains also even currently so there is a big problem because rains also bring many of the illnesses which are malaria chikungunya dengue so there is lot of confusion once the fever comes and sometimes we are confused whether this is fever or not my baby is having probably some low grade fever high grade fever uh, doctor what do you mean by fever so there are many questions and i am going to solve this in next 30 to 45 minutes uh, i am going to keep it very simple i am going to help you through that how we measure fever how do we do it so first thing is the most important thing which is there is the medically speaking is that what is like fever that is the most important thing so what do you tell what is fever so when i tell it is fever that means that we are looking at the core body temperature so what is core body temperature core body temperature ka matlab hai the core body temperature means that the warmth which is in the internal organs like what is the warmth around the heart or what is the warmth around the other organs of the body but what we take very closely is that uh, the point which we take very closely is the warmth around the heart obviously there are no uh, thermometers which are available to take the warmth around the heart that means it is going to be invasive that means ki there are not thermometers which can take it directly from the skins so obviously we have to find the area where we can quickly take the core temperature without doing an invasive thing so what it can be so obviously we all do it nowadays which is the one which is called as the forehead one so forehead is the one which is very closely used uh, to measure the core temperature non invasively i am very again repeating non invasively so non invasively there are many ways where you can monitor the forehead uh, temperature and forehead temperature usually is measured by two methods where you can equate it to the core body temperature there are many things like infrared gun which are available and many of the parents definitely use them and infrared guns have some sort of initial problems which i am going to discuss and there are other thermometers which are now available which is called as the temporal artery thermometer so if you look at the forehead thing if you monitor at the skin level definitely it is going to give the skin temperature only which happens with the help of the infrared guns and the other thing which happens with the help of the forehead one is that you have a superficial artery here which is called as a temporal artery and this temporal artery obviously runs from the heart and the then it comes through what i mean to tell is that the heart there are vessels and these vessels continue when you get division into a third temporal artery which is a divided part and if you monitor the temporal artery it is now supposed to be told as that it is equal to it is around equal to your core temperature 
so what i mean to tell is that means if you want to measure your core temperature and you don't want to do it invasively invasively ka matlab hota hai ki koi cheez hum andar dale so which is not possible for you at home so basically you might require a thermometer like a temporal artery thermometer to monitor the core temperature which is equal to what the body temperature is i hope it is clear not complicating things basically core temperature is must हमारी अंदर की बॉडी जो है वो कोर टेम्परेचर में ही रहती है जब उसमें गर्माहट आती है तो ही बच्चे को बाहर बुखार दिखता है सो आई होप इट इज क्लियर सो देन वी मूव ऑन टू दैट वी आर क्लियर दैट कोर बॉडी टेम्परेचर की बहुत इंपॉर्टेंस है नाउ आई जस्ट वांट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिकॉज वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट कफ एंड कोल्ड सो द कफ एंड कोल्ड वॉट हैपन्स वॉट इज कॉमन कोल्ड एंड वॉट इज फ्लू सो प्लीज रिमेंबर कॉमन कोल्ड इज लाइक सिंपल सर्दी वॉट यू हैव इज लाइक सिर्फ नोज ब्लॉक है नोज बहरा है यू आर फीलिंग के थोड़ा बेबी कंजेस्टेड है या ब्रीथ नहीं कर पा रहा है अच्छे से सांस नहीं ले रहा है सो दीज आर ऑल द कॉमन प्रॉब्लम विद कॉमन कोल्ड इट मे हैव फीवर इट मे नॉट हैव फीवर बट वंस यू इक्वेट इट टू फ्लू फ्लू डेफिनेटली इज मोर हायर इन फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट मीन्स की फ्लू इज नॉट अ माइल्डर इलनेस फ्लू नॉर्मली कॉज इज लॉट ऑफ फीवर बॉडी एड्स समटाइम्स डायरिया कफ कोल्ड सो डेफिनेटली फ्लू इज मोर अ बिगर इलनेस देन सिंपल कॉमन कोल्ड एंड इन फ्लू यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी अबाउट द टेम्परेचर बिकॉज फ्लू समटाइम्स कैन मूव ऑन टू रैपिडली टू निमोनिया इट कैन ऑल्सो मूव मूव इन टू मेनी ऑफ द कॉम्प्लिकेशन रिक्वायरिंग हॉस्पिटल एडमिशन एंड देर इज नो वे दैट वी कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट दैट हाउ वी डिफ्रेंशिएट अ कॉमन फ्लू फ्रॉम अ कोविड अपार्ट फ्रॉम अ टेस्ट सो लेट्स बी वेरी क्लियर दैट a simple cold may not have fever but the baby may feel congested baby may feel blocked baby may feel irritated so these many things may come but for flu i am sure you will have lot of fever what is fever i am going to talk next but you can have fever then you can have lot of cough cold you can have body aches you can have diarrhea baby may feel quite dull extremely lethargic and they might also breathe rapidly that means ki flu is a dangerous illness and we all have to be very careful about flu fine so i hope that is very clear so now the next thing which comes is which is the most important part of the session sir what is fever how do you define fever and that is the most important thing for every parent to understand so please understand it very carefully fever you all have a rhythm in the body which is generated from the hypothalamus हाइपोथलामस एक ग्लैंड है जो ब्रेन में होती है और वो हमारे बॉडी के टेम्परेचर को रेगुलेट करती है सो so, हमारा नॉर्मल बॉडी टेम्परेचर रेंजेस फ्रॉम इवन द बेबीज टेम्परेचर रेंजेस फ्रॉम 37 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू 38 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट मींस इन मॉर्निंग द बेबी मे हैव अराउंड टेम्परेचर ऑफ थर्टी सम बेबीज बाय इवनिंग मे मूव टू अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट एट मे बी अराउंड थर्टी एट सो द नॉर्मल पैटर्न ऑफ फीवर इज अराउंड थर्टी सेवन टू थर्टी एट इफ आई हैव टू डिफाइन अ फीवर द फीवर इज डिफाइंड एज मोर देन थर्टी एट डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड बाय एनी ऑफ द टेम्परेचर विच इज द कोर बॉडी टेम्परेचर आई होप विच इज वेरी क्लियर सो एनी टेम्परेचर विच इज मोर देन थर्टी एट डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड विल बी डिफाइंड एज फीवर and in thermometers who are doing it in fahrenheit may come around 100 more than 100 degree fahrenheit it will be defined as fever so please do not keep 99 99.1 99.2 as fever let's be very clear so please note this that this is what it is called as fever so how do you define that what is high grade fever so high grade fever is defined as any baby who has temperature of more than 103 fahrenheit or more than 39.5 degree centigrade that is called as high grade fever and especially babies under 2 years of age if they have high grade fever it is not a good sign probably it is a sign that you should see a doctor because we don't want to miss serious bacterial illness in them and it is better to see the doctor early in such cases so that is how the fever works that right? like means if you have a low grade fever something around between 38 to 39.5 if you have a high grade fever that means 39.5 degree centigrade and more that means at 39.5 degree centigrade and more i think you should be very careful that this is called as high grade fever so i hope this fever definition helps you in a way that uh, uh, you are clear that what is defined as fever now the other thing which comes is that uh, uh, sir many of the times the people tell that my baby's by touching is warm 
especially young infants they feel that my baby is very warm they are always warm in the head they are always warm in the hands and feet so please be very careful children who are under one year of age have always have a very high basal metabolic rate that means they have a very high heart rate they have a very high heat production and most of these babies get lot of blood flow towards their brain and that's why if you touch them with the back of your palm they will always be warm than your palm uh, then uh, these fingers so that means that your baby should always be warm and the head will always feel warm so let's be very clear in this now the other thing which comes is that uh, how do you uh, what are the common causes of fever so we are speaking just about right now fever in cough and cold so fever in cough cold obviously i have defined fever that if it is more than 38 degree centigrade with along with cough cold it will be defined as fever fine so now the very important thing which the all this is about is this session is about is that sir what 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 are the ways to measure fever and how do i measure fever what kind of thermometers are available in the market how do we do it fine so now let's see there are four to five different kind of thermometers which are available in the market one of them which is there is the rectal thermometer rectal means ki aapko anal area ke andar wahan pe andar insert karke use karna hota hai so that is one that is called as rectal thermometer another thermometer which is available in the market is the infrared thermometer so that is the second thermometer which is available in the market which is called as infrared thermometer third thermometer which is available in the market is the tympanic that is the ear thermometer so that is third fourth is the digital or the axillary thermometer which is available that is the fourth one which you can even keep it orally and the fifth thermometer which is available in the market is the temporal artery thermometer which is obviously the new the new thermometer which has been coming on and off now from uh, last 5 years so that is the four five thermometers which are available and all of these thermometers are available in the indian market and the other thing which is available is the mercury thermometer and now i am not going to talk much about the mercury thermometer right now because mercury thermometer is now not used very commonly and mercury thermometer is difficult to use and if it breaks it can cause sometimes toxicity so mercury thermometer is currently not being used very commonly in most of the uh, even the settings by the parents and even in the hospital so first thing which is the basic thermometer is what i want to talk about is the rectal thermometer so i'll divide it into that rectal thermometer first of all sir do we use it or not so rectal thermometer commonly is used in children in infants so in infants they are quite fussy they don't put it below the they don't want to put it in the axilla uh, putting it sometimes in the ear they may feel the pain they may feel irritated in fever so they might not allow you to take the temperature very clearly so that's why the rectal thermometer comes rectal thermometer is the ones which monitor the core body temperature what i mean to tell is ki rectal thermometer is the most common thermometer which was used to measure the core body temperature but the problem is you have to make the baby प्रोन दैट मीन्स उसको पेट के बल आपको इसके बल छाती के बल सुलाना पड़ेगा देन आपको उसको अराउंड टू सेंटीमीटर तक पॉटी की जगह जहां से वो पॉटी करता है वहां पे इंसर्ट करना पड़ेगा और उसको टेन से थर्टी सेकेंड्स तक उसको मॉनिटर करके और फिर निकाल के और फिर आप टेम्परेचर रीड करोगे दैट मीन्स इट इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट प्रोसेस बेबी मे फील इरिटेटेड यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू इजिली डू इट Sometimes, if you force it, you might injure the area, and you might cause bleeding or some uh, local problems. So that's why rectal thermometers have not been used very commonly. Uh, rectal thermometers, though they measure core body temperature, are difficult to be used and not very commonly used. So practically, it is not of much help uh, to you as a parents. So second thermometer which comes is definitely the thermometer which we are going to talk about is the. in ear thermometer that means ki ear thermometer the tympanic thermometer so how commonly do you use tympanic thermometers now if you use uh, tympanic thermometers again uh, they have been found to be useful in between that it is not as good as rectal thermometer but it is definitely just below par with rectal thermometer in monitoring your core body temperature core body temperature those who have joined late should understand that core body body ke andar ka temperature hota hai and skin temperature is completely different what we define fever as that you need to have a core body temperature which is more than 38 degree centigrade that means ki jo tympanic thermometer hota hai wo rectal se acha to nahi hai 
कोर बॉडी को मैनिटर करने के लिए बट रेक्टल से थोड़ा इजी होता है रेक्टल थर्मोमीटर इज डिफिकल्ट टू इंसर्ट टिम्पैनिक थर्मोमीटर अगेन कैन बी पुट इन द ईयर अगेन इट इज अ वेरी फास्ट प्रोसेस बट समाइम्स बिकॉज वंस द बेबी इज हैविंग फीवर समटाइम्स इफ बेबी इज हैविंग ईयर इन्फेक्शन समटाइम्स इफ इट इज यू आर गेटिंग डिफिकल्टी इंसर्टिंग इट देन इट माइट कॉज लॉट ऑफ पेन एंड इरिटेबिलिटी टू द पेशेंट एंड स्पेशली इफ यंग बेबीज आर देन एंड इफ दे आर स्लीपिंग एंड देन यू इंसर्ट एंड इफ दे वेक अप देन दे माइट इवन क्राई सो मेनी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स आर नॉट वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट द टिम्पैनिक थर्मामीटर अगेन सो बट ऑब्वियसली टिम्पैनिक थर्मामीटर इज क्वाइट ओके टू बी यूज एंड दट कैन बी यूज now the other thing which is now used in the covid times we all know is the infrared everyone is holding the gun wherever you go everyone is taking your temperature with the infrared gun now everyone ask me whether sir it is a right method now let me be very clear this takes the skin skin temperature so it is not equal to the core body temperature so it is though it may look very easy to be used like you may feel that it is a very easy method to use and you can use it very fast you can have a quick access you can immediately get the result but there are two major problems with infrared it doesn't go hand in hand with the core body temperature it is not properly monitoring them it is not properly monitoring the core body temperature other thing is it is not reproducible when i tell it is not reproducible means hamare kehne ka matlab hai ki abhi maine liya अभी आया थर्टी एट पॉइंट थ्री पांच मिनट के बाद सेम गन से विदाउट डूइंग एनीथिंग टू द बेबी इफ आई चेक अगेन और मे बी इवन आफ्टर फिफ्टीन सेकेंड द टेम्परेचर में वेरी दैट मीन्स वॉट आई मीन टू टेल इज की इंफ्रा रेड गन से जब आप थर्मामीटर लेते हो तो देर इज नो गारंटी दैट इट विल टेल यू दी कोर बॉडी टेम्परेचर एंड देन इट मॉनिटर्स दी स्किन टेम्परेचर अगर यहाँ पे ज्यादा स्वेटिंग है आपने थोड़ा पानी लगाया है तो इट माई टेल यू लो टेम्परेचर सो देर कैन बी डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम so that's why infrared gun though it is now used very commonly it gives very erratic temperatures and you cannot rely on them uh, for monitoring your baby's temperature so let's be very clear on this now the fourth thermometer which is now available is the digital or the auxiliary thermometer so digital and auxiliary thermometers which are available again because we are not using mercury thermometers where you put the uh, thermometer inside the axilla because many of the babies don't take thermometer inside the oral cavity where they have to put the thermometer at least for around 2 to 3 minutes and then the bib comes and they have to push the tongue beneath so it is very difficult for children to monitor all these things or to follow all this instruction so you put it here but the problem here is that if you have not put it in the right area if it is moving if the child is irritable he is not allowing you then again monitoring the temperature may become very very difficult in this children and you might get wrong impression fine so you might get a wrong impression that what is the fever so again choice wise though axillary thermometer is okay to be used it is very difficult okay so <coughs> i'm sorry so this is one of the things which i wanted to tell you that again axillary thermometers may not be great and other thing which comes with axillary thermometer is many of them have to add 0.5 degrees to 1 degree so many of the parents ask me sir hame kyun add karna hai because again ye sare jo thermometers hain wo jo hote hain wo bahut sare jo hai wo skin temperature lete hain aur skin temperature aur core temperature mein bahut difference kai baar hota hai so what you have to do is what you have to do is you have to add so once you add there is no guarantee that you are measuring the right temperature and that's how the science is science hum kitna bhi aage badh jaye kai baar basic things mein bhi problem hoti hai that's how it is difficult for a temperature to be monitored so now the new thing again which i am telling you is the there is one more thermometer which is the last thermometer which is there is the temporal artery thermometer to so, maine aapse baat kiya tha normally uh, wo core temperature monitor karta hai temporal artery jo hoti hai wo yahan pe superficially hamare स्कैल्प के अंदर यानी जो हमारा फोरहेड है उसके यहां पे होती है और वो सतह से बिल्कुल पास में होती है दैट मीन्स इट इज वेरी क्लोज टू द स्किन इंफ्रारेड गन और टेम्पोरल आर्टरी थर्मामीटर दोनों डिफरेंट चीजें हैं टेम्पोरल आर्टरी थर्मामीटर जो होता है उसके अंदर इट कम्स विद अ कैप वेयर यू हैव टू पुट वी हैव टू यू हैव टू मेक द स्किन टच and then you have to rotate it towards this side or maybe this side and that happens as a swipe so you swipe it and there you get the temperature so there you get the temperature which means that temporal artery thermometer is quite easy to use it is reproducible many of the research studies have shown that it can be reproducible it is very close to the uh, core temperature which is as good as the rectal thermometer temperature 
and it is very easy to be used again and again to be used. So I hope it is very clear that so there are different sets of thermometer. All have their advantages and disadvantages. Some of them may be giving you the skin tempera temperature, not very good, not very accurate, and not again and again reproducible. But there are new thermometers like what I have told you, temporal artery thermometers, which are sometimes easy to use, reproducible, but they may be again for one point of time they may look costly to you. Fine. So these are one of these are some of the different thermometers uh, which are available. And now we move on to the things that, sir. Sometimes, uh, uh, how do you feel that you told that what is fever? We understood that what is fever. How do you define fever? But the problem is uh, the babies get temperature out of the blue. Like they are uh, they have slept very well overnight, and in the morning they wake up. They are feeling warm. So, what are the conditions where we should monitor the temperature regularly, or if they have become ill, uh, how frequently should we monitor the fever? So, that is the most important part where they, where the parents ask me that, sir, uh, how frequently do you advise the fever to be monitored? So, let me be very clear. There is no clear guidelines that how frequently we should monitor fever. But if you want to monitor fever in the time of Corona or maybe pandemic, where your baby is having mild cough, cold, or you are feeling that he is little warm. Maybe doing it just for your sake, it is okay to do it in the morning and evening. Okay, that means twice a day. So you can do it 12 hourly, and you can easily do it uh, with any of the thermometers which are available. We have already given you what kind of thermometers are there. But suppose if your baby is ill, so what you want to do? Now suppose my baby is having 39 degrees fever. So uh, I have given the uh, medicine for the fever, maybe whatever paracetamol and then I want to see whether the fever has come down or not. So how should I do it? So let me be very clear, if you give a medicine, whatever medicine you use for reducing the fever, the fever reduces by around 45 minutes to 1 degree. So suppose if I am having a fever of 39 and after 1 hour I want to check, it may not become absolutely 0 or immediately it becomes 37 it might take some time. So maybe you can check it after your intervention around 30 to 45 minutes ke baad mein. That means ke humne bar bar gun ko use kar rahe hai, bar bar bacche ko temperature laga rahe hai. within 5, 5, 10, 10 minutes it is of no value. If you do anything like aapne sponging kiya hai ghar pe, aapne koi dawai diya hai, you have to wait for 25 to 30 minutes, mere minimum. What I advise is at least a 45 minute. अगर आपने कुछ भी चीज ऐसा किया है तो at least wait for 45 minutes. Don't keep on doing uh, temperature. It is not going to help. 105 अगर fever है किसी बच्चे को Fahrenheit, तो आप बार बार temperature check करके उसको कम नहीं करने वाले हो. Temperature जब आता है तब आपको baby को you have to make him comfortable. So how you make the baby comfortable by reducing the fever. So if you reduce the fever, that means you will come to know कि हाँ भाई कैसे करना है, तो sponging कर सकते हैं, आप fever की दवाई दे सकते हैं, रातर आप बार बार उसको fever monitor कर रहे हैं, गन से या maybe tympanic ear में डाल रहे हैं, there will be no point, fine, so there will be no point doing that, so please be very careful, अगर हमें बच्चे को routinely just monitor करना है कि उसको fever तो नहीं आ रहा है, आप COVID pandemic में बहुत anxious हैं, maybe आपको warm लग रहा है, तो आप morning evening कर सकते हैं, लेकिन अगर आपका बच्चे को सही में fever है, he is not well, maybe you will have to monitor depending on his condition, sometimes you might have to do 2 to 4 hourly, and sometimes you might have to do initially hourly if the fever is very high, and once it is okay, then you might do it 4 to 6 hourly, so you don't have to be very very anxious about it, Monitoring fever, sometimes you will come to know that the child has become irritable or the child has become dull. Some of the children may just sit on the side, they may not feel comfortable, their bodies will be very warm, their hands will be very cold. That is the time you know that yes, my baby is getting fever, my baby has become dull, my baby has become irritable or many of the older babies will come to you and tell that I am not feeling good. So that's how the things work and uh, I hope that is very clear that how do you do temperature in such cases. Now the uh, many of the things which are uh, very important during this session is, sir there are, uh, how do we differentiate whether it is cough, simple cough cold or whether it is COVID. So and uh, when do we go for many of the other things, maybe go to a doctor. So these are very difficult questions but let me clearly explain it to you. You cannot differentiate by a clinical picture that whether it is a simple flu or whether it is a COVID. But what it is helpful is 
वॉट इट इज हेल्पफुल इज दट अगर घर में किसी को फीवर कफ कोल्ड चल रहा है अगर घर में किसी को कोविड हुआ है पिछले 14 डेज में या अगर आपके घर के अंदर रिसेंट एक्सपोजर कोविड से किसी का भी हुआ है दैट मीन्स देर इज वेरी हाई चांस दैट योर बेबी में बी हैविंग कोविड फाइन डोंट गो बाय द मेथ दैट बेबीज डो नॉट हैव कोविड सो इफ यू हैव अ फैमिली क्लस्टरिंग दैट मीन्स अगर फैमिली में तीन चार लोगों को दो तीन लोगों को सर्दी खांसी हुई है मे बी इन अ वीक्स और टू वीक्स टाइम दे हैव नॉट बी वेल एंड बेबी ऑल्सो डेवलप्स प्रोबेबली वी नीड टू सी दैट उनको कोविड है कि नहीं है वो टेस्ट से ही पता चलेगा देर इज नो वे टू टेल के बच्चे को कोविड देख के पता चलेगा या क्लिनिकली एग्जामिन करके पता चलेगा जब तक हम उनका नेजल स्वॉब या थ्रोट स्वॉब नहीं कराएंगे कोविड के लिए तब तक हमें नहीं पता चलेगा कि बच्चे को कोविड है कि नहीं है फाइन आई होप इट इज क्लियर दैट मेनी ऑफ द पेरेंट्स वॉन्ट अस टू टेल दैट सर ये फ्लू है कि कोविड है सो देर इज नो वे टू टेल वेदर इट इज अ फ्लू और वेदर इट इज अ कोविड देर इज ओनली वन वे टू डू दैट वॉट इट इज कोविड देन यू हैव टू चेक इट फाइन नाउ द थिंग्स विच आर देर इज सर फीवर आ गया है बच्चे को कफ कोल्ड है वेन आई शुड स्टार्ट वरिंग सो वॉट आई मीन टू टेल इज ऑब्वियसली इफ यूर बेबी इज हैविंग फीवर आई विल डिवाइडेड इन टू एज वाइज If children are less than two years and child is having cough, cold, and if they are having any fever about thirty nine point five degree centigrade, I think you should show them immediately to doctor as soon as possible. Maybe in next four to twelve hours. If it is overnight, try to bring the temperature down and meet the pediatrician or your doctor in the next twelve hours. Fine, because in young children. the illness can rapidly progress and they can have a bad fever cough cold flu and they can progress to a bad illness like pneumonia so what are the signs the common signs are your baby even after the temperature is down they may feel dull they may feel lethargic they may not feel well they might be having a heavy breathing or a rapid breathing and they might sometimes be cyanosed that means ki wo hot neele ho jayenge so these are some of the changes which may happen so if they or baby is having fever cough cold then under 2 years with more than 39 degree centigrade preferable to show them as early as possible now children who are about 2 years of age in between the fever if they are playful if they are active there is no recent history of covid in the family or no recent exposure and if they are not going much out then probably you might take a day or two and if they are not looking fine what i have told you persistently having high grade fever passing less urine sleeping more looking dull in between the fever also lying on the bed then i think it is time to show them early and obviously if they are breathing fast if they are looking that they are not able to drink anything i think it is time to show them in an emergency also right so i hope it is very clear in this part of uh, flu and the covid there should not be any confusion because almost nobody can differentiate them clinically fine now the other thing which is there is the just a, a thing which is there that once i am monitoring the fever sir what uh, what if it doesn't improve like suppose if my temperature thermometer is showing 39.8 degrees i have given fever medicine i have given the sponging still i do it and again it is showing 40 degrees which is a common scenario sometimes can happen i think if you have the emergency number of your pediatrician or the emergency hospital where you visit commonly i think it is better to talk to them rather than trying your own medicines and there may be a scenario where you might not obviously uh, have a temperature and it may not re- respond to initially medicines that doesn't mean that medicine is not working some of the times there are fever which may not respond initially to paracetamol or other drugs or sponging i think it is better to talk to your doctor and go ahead uh, rather than Uh, doing anything else fine right? so these are some of the things i'll just repeat it again uh, just for the sake <coughs> so one thing is fever is defined as a temperature which is more than 38 degree centigrade this temperature what we call is uh, the core body temperature core body temperature means jo body ke andar ke organs hote hain jo unka surrounding temperature hota hai use hum core body temperature kehte hain जो हमारे मैक्सिमम थर्मोमीटर्स विच आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर दी स्किन थर्मोमीटर्स विच दे मॉनिटर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दी टेम्पैनिक थर्मोमीटर 
and the temporal artery thermometer and I have told you that temporal artery thermometer has some of the advantages over the tympanic thermometer which is the ear thermometer. I think you if the people who have not heard maybe go back to the session and see what I have initially spoken about them. So maybe uh, you can just decide that what is suitable for you and then you can use it. So that is how you do it. Now the other thing which is very common for the babies who are born now which is called as newborn. Newborn ko hum bolte hai 28 din tak ke bache. First one month what we define as a newborn. And newborn typically many of the parents they keep on worrying that bacha garam to nahi hai but you have to be very careful that wo thande bhi na ho. Kyunki jab bache thande hote hai na newborn that is also a worrying sign. Sometimes newborn ko fever nahi hota hai par wo thande ho jate hai. Thanda is equally worrying in a newborn. So please be very sure that normal newborn ka temperature be around aapko 37 degrees ke around maintain karna hota hai. Agar uske haath pair thande hai, agar uska temperature 36 ke niche a raha hai, baby aapko dull lag raha hai, that is also not a good sign. So it is not that always fever, fever and fever. Sometimes low temperature in a children who are less than especially 3 months is a worrying sign. That means that newborn or newborn ke surrounding age up to 3 months If the child is cold and cold, that is also a worrying sign hai. So if fever is not, sometimes even a low temperature can be a very very worrying sign I hope it is very clear that what we are speaking That newborns ka jo sirf bukhar to thik hai Newborn ko agar bukhar aata hai to ek medical emergency hoti hai So if a newborn gets a fever of more than 100 degree centigrade I think uh, 100 degree Fahrenheit I think it is better to contact your doctor immediately because some of them may not mount many symptoms of infection. कहने का मतलब है कि उनको सारे symptoms infection के नहीं आते, पर वो बच्चे जो होते हैं वो अंदर से infection के सारे sign symptoms नहीं दिखाते, पर infection 38 degrees पे भी हो सकता है. So बच्चे normally newborn try to maintain them with around 37 to 38 के बीच में. अगर 38 के ऊपर है या 36 के नीचे है, I think it is not good. Probably we need to show them immediately to the doctor. Right. So this was initially, these are the things which were uh, there for our uh, scanning part of the fever. I hope it is clear that what I am meaning by the scanning part of the fever and uh, you understood most of the things. Now I take one by one the questions which are coming. Uh, there are many of the questions which are there in the chat box. So I will go from the last and start it. So first question which is there is like I have a baby who is 5 months old and the baby's head is very warm it is always warm what should i do so dear parents i hope it is very clear initially in my lecture i told you that normally bacche jo hote hain na unki heart rate humse kai zyada hoti hai especially under 1 year of age and bachcho ki jo sar ki growth hoti hai na wo pehle 2 saal mein bahut zyada hoti hai to jo body ka blood flow hai around 20 se 30% aapka heart ka flow jo hai wo brain ko jata hai that means brain is getting lot of blood flow and जब blood flow बहुत जाता है तो heat production भी बहुत होता है तो ये एक normal sign है कि बच्चे का जो सर पे हम हाथ लगाएं तो वो हलका गरम ही लगेगा लेकिन बच्चा playful होगा बच्चा active होगा बच्चे का वजन बढ़ रहा होगा बच्चे में कोई problem नहीं दिखेगी लेकिन आप लोग परेशान हो रहे होगे that means it is normal to have a warm head in babies of infants okay I hope it is clear and so this was one of the questions so if a two month old baby is having covid what to do so let me be very clear uh, we have seen around 70 to 75 kids with covid covid can happen to any child ranging from one day to maybe 18 years fine so that means ki bacche immune nahi hai covid ko bachcho ko bhi covid hota hai now the age group which is very worrying for getting a covid is especially young infants that means agar ek saal se chote bacche niche covid ke hote hain ya kisi bacche ko saath mein underlying disease hai maan lijiye kisi bacche ko kidney ki bimari hai kisi ko liver ki bimari hai kisi ko heart ki bimari hai kisi ko asthma ki bimari hai to ye sare group jo hain wo covid ke liye bachcho ke liye acche group nahi hai to agar 2 mahine ke bacche ko covid ho raha hai to come to a clear picture i think you need to monitor the fever you need to breastfeed them properly, maintain adequate hydration. If your baby persists to have fever more than 38.5 degree centigrade for more than 24 hours, baby is breathing fast, not taking feeds well, then I think it is better to show to your pediatrician or maybe a immediate local government facility 
to know whether what to do for that. Most of the babies what we have seen have done very well. We have seen around 70 kids and most of them have done very well and only two babies have required hospital admission otherwise most of them have recovered at home. So I obviously cannot give you what treatment we use because uh, the treatment guidelines can change according to the doctors but you have to see that baby small babies feed well they do not breathe fast they pass adequate urine in between the uh, fever they are quite happy do not feel lethargic i think that is okay because many of the covid patients will recover in two to three days but if they do not recover i think they require immediate attention So I go to the next question. I am going to take questions only for the fever, right? So hello doctor, my daughter is 2.4 years old. Her weight is 10.8. Is it normal? So I am not going to take all uh, what I told you is the questions for this. Now this is one of the question is the cough cold. So can we give uh, medicines for cough cold to a five month old baby? Okay. So let's be very clear. Any baby who requires a cough cold medicine please do not take it over the counter by yourself over the counter ka matlab hota hai khud jaake pharmacist se aap khareed ke le aaye aur unko apne aap se de dein aur wo dose jo hai wo jo likhi hoti hai drugs ke upar ya medicine ke upar wo aap use kar le please 2 saal se chote bacche ko cough cold ki medicine use karne se pehle apne doctor se zarur puche unke andar alag alag combinations aate hain wo combination agar aap galat roop se dein to bacche ko haani ho sakti hai so please do not give any cough cold medicine by yourself taking it from the pharmacist without knowing what is there you may not be able to know that what is a correct medicine to be given fine now again a question sir my baby is 6, 19 months old the temperature is around 97 but the body is warm so i have already cleared many of the doubts dekhi skin temperature hath se lagane se koi matlab nahi hai अगर आपका बच्चा अदरवाइज ठीक है और आप सिर्फ हाथ लगा के गर्म लग रहा है लेकिन टेम्परेचर नॉर्मल आ रहा है एंड यू आर यूजिंग अ रिलायबल थर्मोमीटर लाइक मे बी अ टेम्पोर आर्टरी थर्मोमीटर और अ टिम्पैनिक थर्मोमीटर अदरवाइज मे बी इज फाइन देन आई डोंट थिंक कि हमें कुछ भी करने की जरूरत है सो प्लीज डोंट गेट एंशियस मे बी समाइम्स इवन आर एंग्जाइटी लाइक घर में किसी और को सर्दी खांसी है बुखार है तो आप सुन के और डर जाते हो और कई बार हाथ लगाने से आपको वॉर्म लगता है दैट इज वेरी कॉमन इवन समाइम्स when i was a parent i used to do it but with the time what you understand is it is normal please take it as normal fine so there are other questions which are there that is the my son's body is always warm but the temperature is always normal what can be the reason one reason i have already told you agar chhota bachcha hai 2 saal se niche उनकी बेजल मेटाबॉलिक रेट बहुत हाई होती है यानी बॉडी की हार्ट रेट बहुत हाई होती है दे प्रोड्यूस लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी दे प्रोड्यूस लॉट ऑफ वॉम तो समटाइम्स इट कैन योर बेबी मे फील वॉम नाउ द अदर कॉज फॉर फीलिंग अ वॉम बॉडी विल बी अनिमिया अनिमिया यानी खून की कमी अगर आपके बच्चे में खून की कमी है या आपके बच्चे को आयरन की कमी है तो भी आपके बच्चे को वॉम लग सकता है और वो वाले बच्चों को टेम्परेचर थर्मामीटर में नहीं आएगा बट आपको हमेशा लगेगा वो वॉम है अगर ऐसा आपको लगता है तो प्लीज गो एंड मीट योर डॉक्टर एंड चेक वेदर योर बेबी इज आयरन डेफिशियंट क्योंकि इंडियन बच्चे तीन साल से छोटे बच्चे एट्टी ऑफ द इंडियन बच्चे आर आयरन डेफिशियंट फाइन सो आयरन डेफिशियंसी इज कॉमन कॉज समाइम्स फॉर फीलिंग अ बॉडी वॉम ओके so what are the diet restrictions during fever so there are no diet restrictions during fever so especially agar koi problem hai maybe diarrhea related hai ya koi aur aisi specific bacche ko bimari hai to alag baat hai baki diet restrictions alag se kuch nahi hote hain but ensure that they get lot of hydration that is a very very important thing that you hydrate them very well so that is the clear answer for that one more question related covid my baby has tested covid positive and was under medication for past 14 days now he is fine my problem is that how frequently if he has become constipated what should i do and what can be the medicines which can be used so koi bhi bachcha jab bimar hota hai to they might develop constipation 
फाइन लेट मी बी वेरी क्लियर क्योंकि उनका पानी का इंटेक कम हो जाता है उनकी बॉडी से जो है वो पानी बुखार के फॉर्म में बहुत जल्दी निकलने लगता है तो ऐसे बच्चों को समटाइम्स हमें बहुत सारा फाइबर्स देना चाहिए फाइबर इन फॉर्म ऑफ ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स फाइबर इन फॉर्म ऑफ डायरेक्टली फ्रूट नो फ्रूट जूसेस लाइक फ्रूट जूस मे नॉट प्रोवाइड योर बेबीज पल्प सो इट इज बेटर दैट यू गिव दैम एडिक्यूएट वॉटर यूज दी फ्रूट पल्प Use the green leafy vegetables and soup, and if required, contact your doctor for some of the medications which can help you for these five to seven days, and then they may not, then they may return to normal. Fine. Now there is a changing weather, doctor, and how do I monitor the fever in such children? Is there any worry when the weather changes? Uh, definitely, many of the illnesses happen after the weather change, especially the flu virus, hai, or flu infections, they are very commonly in the cold. Ho jate सो so, जैसे मैंने आपको पहले भी बात किया अगर आपको रूटीनली टेम्परेचर मॉनिटर करना है और आप वरिड हो तो मे बी आप दिन में दो बार अपने बच्चे का टेम्परेचर आप मॉनिटर कर सकते हो ड्यूरिंग द कोविड पैंडे में अदरवाइज उससे ज्यादा और अलग से यू डोंट हैव टू डू राइट ओके सो द टेम्परेचर इज डिफरेंट ऑन माई किड्स टमी एज कम्पेयर टू दी नेक एंड द फोर हेड इज इट सो सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन वेयर अ पेरेंट इज आस्किंग सर इफ आई डू इट एट द डिफरेंट प्लेसेज आई गेट द डिफरेंट टेम्परेचर वाई इट इज सो so let me be very clear you are all taking the skin temperature and skin temperature at your head the sensors which we are using on the chest by the same thermometer or maybe at the abdomen may look different fine the somewhere they might feel less warm somewhere they might feel more warm so that's why the reliability of these infrared guns or maybe such kind of temperatures uh, you have to follow the instructions they have written clearly that where to be used so if you touch it by your hand there is no point you have to use the thermometers with the proper instructions if you don't use the thermometers with proper instructions which have come from the company i think you will get the erratic ones erratic temperatures only okay so now this is a question my baby is 15 days old stuffy nose no fever what can i do so this is a very common question i am glad that you have asked chote bacche isko nose blow kona is very common स्पेशली छह महीने से छोटे बच्चे क्योंकि वो लोग नोस ब्रीदर होते हैं वो लोग माउथ ब्रीदर नहीं होते हैं एंड उनकी नोस बहुत ही छोटी नोस्ट्रिल्स होती है यानी उनमें गैप बहुत छोटा होता है अगर उसमें कोई भी छोटा सा म्यूकस आ जाता है हल्का सा भी कुछ कचरा आ जाता है तो दे माइट फील स्टफी सो आई थिंक यू कैन आस्क योर डॉक्टर यू कैन यूज अ नेजो क्लियर ड्रॉप्स विच इज अजल सलाइन ड्रॉप्स सो दैट इज बेसिकली नॉर्मल सलीन इन दी वॉटर एंड इट इज यूज टू क्लियर दी नोस सो दैट यू कैन डू so probably how to use it you can ask your uh, pediatrician but that's how it is done otherwise nothing needs to be done this problem may resolve slowly and uh, your baby may feel okay by after 3 to 6 months when they start breathing from the mouth and the nose uh, uh, they will be able to clear the nose easily and then it becomes easy for them to breathe so now what is the normal range of breathing in a child 2 year and how do i measure it so this is a very relevant question because i am taking the class on the common cold or the flu so uh, the normal rate of breathing for a 2 year old will be around 35 to 40 breaths per minute so what i commonly tell the parents is you remove the shirt you put your hand on the abdomen and how many times the abdomen comes up you have to see with the clock you measure one minute and see if it is more than 40 it is high but let me be very clear at the same time anyone who has fever will have a fast breathing okay that means jab fever badhta hai to dil ki dhadkan bhi badhti hai aur saanse bhi tez ho jati hai aap temperature ko kam karke aur aap apne bacche ka wapas se respiratory rate yani aap apni saans ki gati ko monitor kariye agar wo bukhar kam hone ke sath kam ho jati hai that means it is okay that was probably high because of the fever okay so again one more question which is related to this so i am i am i am going to take 10 15 questions more so if you have a relevant question please put it so giving steam to a child is it okay once a day so i have no problem giving steam to the child it is it has been quite found useful in many of the cough cold uh, i give personally to many of my patients but let me be very clear please do not do it on a small child especially under 6 months or maybe under 1 year because they make lot of head movements and if you don't use the steamer properly their skin may get burned so please be very clear once you give it uh, give it gently and ensure that they don't get uh, uh, this kind of uh, injury from the steam okay 
So, my four and a half year twins are having cough and cold since two days. However, they are active, doing all their regular activities. Should I be worried for them for COVID? So, great, I asked, uh, great question. So, one thing is, I've already told you, बच्चों को जब कोविड होता है तो बच्चों का क्लस्टरिंग में ज्यादा होता है क्योंकि 99% ऑफ द बच्चे अभी कहीं भी बाहर नहीं जा रहे वो ना स्कूल जा रहे हैं ना वो शॉपिंग मॉल्स जाते हैं ना वो प्ले एरिया जाते हैं ना वो नीचे कहीं जा रहे हैं दैट मींस उनका एक्सपोजर बहुत ही कम है उनका एक्सपोजर मोस्टली पेरेंट्स से ही आ रहा है सो so, अगर घर में किसी को भी फीवर कफ कोल्ड है पिछले टू वीक्स में या उनका कोविड से कोई भी एक्सपोजर घर में रहा है या कोई बाहर एक पॉजिटिव था और उनके साथ आके रह के गया है आई थिंक यू कैन गेट इट चेक But if they are playful, if they are active, they have no fever. I think they will recover very well, even if they have COVID. Because I have told you, maximum of the maximum children in COVID, mein, most of them have done very well and they have recovered. So maybe if they are okay, no COVID exposure, you can delay the test or again ask your pediatrician. So, so I am going to take only the questions for cough and cold, right? I have told you. So let me be very clear. Uh, so these are all the questions which I have already answered many of them I am not answering the questions which are so getting cold hands and feet followed by fever is it normal so this is a great question so I have already told you in the my uh, session जब भी बच्चे को बुखार आता है उनका जो सेंट्रल पार्ट है बॉडी का वो बहुत वार्म हो जाता है उनके हाथ पैर जो हैं वो बहुत ठंडे हो जाते हैं इट इज वेरी वेरी यूजल फॉर अ बेबी ऑफ अ फीवर दैट उसके हाथ पैर ठंडे हो जाते हैं और उसकी सेंट्रल बॉडी बहुत वार्म हो जाती है एंड दैट्स आई सम ऑफ द पेरेंट्स रिकोगनाइज फीवर बट एट द सेम टाइम लेट मी बी वेरी क्लियर अगर वो बच्चा हाथ पैर ठंडे है स्वस्थ है अच्छा नहीं दिख रहा है एज अ पेरेंट आपको लगता है नो ही इज नॉट लुकिंग गुड आई थिंक इट इज इन important part that you ask your pediatrician what next to do if the fever comes down and your baby's hands and feet become warm again become normal that is a good sign don't be much worried can it be a viral fever no you cannot judge ke viral fever mein hi hota hai even kharab bacterial infection mein bhi aisa ho sakta hai so please aisa mat maniye ke viral fever mein hi thande haath pair hote hain ye aisa sab hota hai ye sab galat cheez hai aur isse aap bacche ko apne late hospital le jayenge aur uska late ilaaj karayenge usse usko problems ho sakte hain so don't take it as that okay now again same questions are there that my baby feels warm but there is no temperature i have already answered i think there is no need to worry in that case if your baby is otherwise fine right so how can we easily detect flu at home if we don't want to visit the clinic just for checking temperature i have already answered you there are many thermometers which are available so whatever you have maybe a tympanic or maybe a temporal artery thermometer maybe you can use it because it is easy to use again and again can be done can you detect uh, flu at home Uh, it is very difficult for you to identify flu at home the common symptoms will be fever cough cold abdominal pain diarrhea maybe sometimes rashes the baby may be irritable dull so that's how you detect flu and they can have temperature ranging from 38 degree centigrade to even up to 39.5 to 40 centigrade so that's how you detect flu uh, you know that this is what the flu is is there any probability covid 19 effective in baby average around 2 to 3 years probably they are trying to ask about the vaccine so i am not sure what vaccines are going to come and when it is going to come but the efficacy of the vaccine according to fda yani jo hamara fda policies bahut sare vaccination ke banata hai they have told ki agar vaccine is effective 50% it can be put to the market बिकॉज अभी पेंडेमिक चल रहा है और हमें वैक्सीन की सबको बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत है और अगर उसका प्रोटेक्शन 50 60 परसेंट भी है तो वो डेफिनेटली बहुत इफेक्टिव है सभी लोगों के लिए क्यूमुलेटिवली सो दैट्स हाउ इट आई होप इट आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन सो सर फ्लू वैक्सीन देना चाहिए आपने इतना सारा फ्लू का बात किया है शुड बी यूज फ्लू वैक्सीन एंड हाउ इट इज गिवेन सो अगर बच्चा एक साल से छोटा है यू टेक टू डोजेज ऑफ फ्लू वैक्सीन एंड देन एवरी ईयर यू टेक वन फ्लू शॉर्ट so everyone can take a flu shot how it is helpful it is helpful kyunki flu ka rate jo hai wo 70 se 80% kam kar deta hai and it also covers the swine flu and swine flu you all know was a very dangerous virus which came in 2009 and it has also killed many of the people so i think flu shot should be given to uh, should be taken by many of the babies and they transmit each other in the school also so i think school should have a mandatory flu vaccination that everyone should take a flu vaccine 
एंड हाई रिस्क बच्चों को तो जरूर लेना है जिन बच्चों को बार बार सांस की तकलीफ है जिन बच्चों को अस्थमा है जिन बच्चों को कोई भी लंबी बीमारी है आई थिंक दे शुड टेक द्लू वैक्सीन should we check the temperature daily during this covid pandemic i have already answered that you can check twice a day uh, morning and evening so i think that answers many of our questions i am just going to take the last question probably which has come my son my son is 4 years old he is having cold but he is active but in the morning he felt that his head is spinning means chakkar jaisa lag raha hai please can you suggest so as i have told you agar aapko congestion hai अगर आपके साइनसेस कोल्ड के कारण भर गए हैं तो यू माइट फील नॉट फील गुड यू माइट फील कंजेस्टेड यू माइट हैव सिवियर हेडेक यू मे नॉट फील ग्रेट आई थिंक इट इज बेटर दैट यू गिव मे बी एन स्टीम मे बी डी कंजेस्ट हिम मे बी आस्क योर डॉक्टर टू गिव हिम सम मेडिसिन विच कैन रिड्यूस इज कंजेशन एंड अगर चक्कर फिर भी परसिस्ट कर रहे हैं एंड द बेबी इज नॉट एबल टू वॉक बेबी इज लुकिंग डल बेबी इज नॉट फीलिंग गुड आई थिंक इट इज बेटर टू विजिट अ डॉक्टर Uh, vaccination i am not going to talk more about this so i think that clear that that takes care of the session which has been there and uh, thank you for participating in today's session and please follow the first cry and the first cry parenting for such informative sessions and topics and don't forget to help the other moms by sharing this session and only thing what i can tell is i am really happy to do uh, this session with uh, the first cry and if you have any of the queries you can drop in this uh, video below i'll try to answer this and thank you for attending this session thank you